Hi guys, here are my thoughts after replacing the engine with a new one. This is approximately two months into engine ownership, so it's two months since I replaced it. I've now got 17 and a half hours on the engine, been flawless so far. Uh, let's check the ups and downs. Uh, ups are definitely it's really powerful and the power is instantaneous. Uh, if we compare to the old turbo engine, it was very laggy at low RPM, like under 2.5-3000 RPM. It had a spool of time of like several seconds, like 3 to 10 seconds at worst. Uh, this has absolutely no lag, it's instant power the, the second you hit it. Uh, let's check the instrument panel. It looks a bit the same as the old one. We've got the trim gauge at the left bottom. We've got the voltmeter, analog voltmeter next. Uh, up on the right, uh, on the left is oil pressure. Down on the left is engine temp. Then we've got the RPM gauge with uh, integrated engine hours and fuel consumption, instant fuel consumption low at the low. And, the, uh, and then we have the speedo, it's the same I had yet in the last engine, it actually hooked right up to the new engine harness, even if it has a really special connector, but it, it happened to be the same. Uh, this is a uh, CAN bus or bus meter, so there's a lot of functions in it. You can push this button and it switches between, between the clock, and there's a lot of functions. Uh, these bus functions aren't available yet. I have a harness adapter, so I'll see if I get it working. And then we have an engine status, there's like the malfunction indicator lamp and another alarm lamp. And then we got... Uh, the, the weird thing was I got no ignition lock, no ignition barrel with the new engine. Uh, and no fuel gauge. But the fuel gauge is the old one. It's only six years old, so works well. I've got almost empty fuel tank. And uh, let's, let's check out the engine itself. Let's turn it off. It has... Yeah. So... I'm really pleased with it, fits in well, I had to make these uh, like extensions for the engine room so it would, so the engine would fit in here, fits really nicely, works nicely, it's a really ni neat and nice package. Uh, I must say I'm really impressed with a new, how well a new engine works, like uh, here's the oil dipstick, Here's an easy drain, if you pull that, pull the sprint and uh, pu push that button, it will drain the engine from, uh, from seawater, uh, down in the bilge of course. And yeah, really nice package, I, I can really highly recommend to anyone, anyone thinking about buying one of these. This is... Uh, I, yes, it cost an arm and a leg, it was like uh, 28k. But it's definitely worth all the money. I can really, really, really recommend it. Uh, and you have to think about when you buy one of these engines, you don't have to buy anything else. I got the whole package for 28,000, 28, including stern drive, propellers, uh, all the gauges except the speedo and the uh, fuel gauge. It included, uh, it was the entire package. I didn't have to buy anything. I had to buy absolutely zero stuff, e not even the, uh, the hydraulic steering cylinder, even that fitted from the old engine. Uh, yeah, I don't think I put any, I, I was expecting to buy, put at least a few thousand more to it, like the hydraulic steering cylinder. I've got uh, hydraulic steering, as you can see here, it, I've got a new, nice, neat little... <laughs> Uh, oil reservoir, which is not needed anymore because I have stopped the leaks from it. Uh, yeah, and one thing that it was missing also, except the ignition barrel, uh, the power trim. Uh, so now I've got my 290 drive power trim uh, button. It's only a simple button, it only needed three wires, uh, common and then uh, up and a down. But I'm going to replace my uh, gear lever at some point. I don't, just don't got the money at the time. I put literally all the money I had into this engine, but yeah, I can really recommend. Uh, I'll try to do some more videos about the performance of the engine as soon as I have time. Thank you.